y'all y'all like this blue this blue is can't stop won't stop get guap 10 white toes and them toy flip flops mannequins and pedicures i'm always tip top when they say i'm not hot all these lies need to stop because i'm icy wifey haters want to fight me never been the one get rp up on a white tee keep my hands clean got some hitters moving shicey ask me if i'm rolling with some gucci i might be it's very unlikely my wrist ain't looking icy charging by the minute because my time is very pricey yeah hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel you guys i just want to let you guys know that y'all are the realest for checking up on me for asking me like what's good what the video is at you guys I ain't even gonna lie to you guys like it's been so much going on it's been so much it's just like i'm in the middle of a move not only am i in the middle of a move but I was really sick. I don't know if I've told you guys, but when I'm sick, I am the type of person where I'm really sick. When I'm sick, I'm sick. I don't get the type of sick that's like, oh, you know, <laughs> and you know, I'm just gonna take some medicine and I'll be all right. No, that's not the type of sick that I get, guys. The type of sick that I get is, when I'm sick, I'm down, baby. I am down. And it's either I'm sick or I'm feeling well. It's either that or the other. It's no in-between. Like, seriously, guys. So, on top of me being sick and all life going on, I want to share with you guys a little bit of what's been going on. Because... I really want to take this YouTube thing serious. I'm going to be out for a couple of months. Even though I'm going to be out for a couple of months, guys. I will be uploading up some get ready with me's. But it's going to be a little bit slow. Because due to the fact that I'm moving. And due to the fact that I'm getting a new camera. A new ring light. You guys, I'm getting all new equipment. On top of that, you guys, I'm really excited about this new job. I might be a flight attendant. No, 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 I'm not. I'm I'm not going to say might. I will be a flight attendant this upcoming 2020, as well as a business owner, as well as a part-time cosmetologist. So, you guys, it's been so much going on with me. And I just want to let you guys know that I haven't gone anywhere. This is just a precaution. You know, these are just the little milestones in the road that's trying to keep you back. But you know, we ain't having none of that. We not having none of that success all 2019, 2020, and on forth. You feel what I'm saying? You guys, I did want to give you guys a topic video for today. And you guys seem to really love my advice and my topic video. So I decided to do a topic today on how to get over a first love you guys, this topic was um, brought to me by one of my fellow friends. And she felt like, Erica, you're like my Oprah friend. You know, you're like my Oprah friend because you give me really good advice. And not saying that, guys, you know how you give really good advice and it's like really hard for you to take your own advice story of my life <laughs> story of my life but you guys i'm gonna run you up on game you feel what i'm saying i'm gonna run you ladies up on game i'm gonna run you niggas up on game because i want y'all to be up on game how i be putting my friends up on game and how i be up on game but anywho so let's get right into the story time video okay you guys there is no right or wrong uh let me stop because I was about to say there is no right or wrong way to get over an ex. Actually, there is a wrong way. I'm going to make this story time short. So, long story short, I had a friend. Not saying that she's a bad friend. Because she's not. She's a really good friend. She's actually still a good friend of mine. Um, she gave me some advice one time. That says, oh, um, get a new nigga to get over a nigga. There is truth and a lie to that one statement not necessarily truth and a lie but i would just necessarily say that advice could go both ways it's iffy when a female says 
get with another guy that doesn't well i'm not gonna say they don't necessarily mean get d but that doesn't necessarily mean you know you got to jump off this d and that d and that d so you can get over that old person no you guys no <laughs> no that is creating a a feel that you do not want around you okay you don't want to create that you guys what you want to do is go get out there you feel what i'm saying you're single talk to new people let another person make you laugh more genuinely you know what i'm saying and not necessarily get a new nigga like oh he this about to be my new boo no get you a new nigga like oh you know this is my friend you feel what i'm saying this is my friend we're doing this now you get what i'm saying you don't necessarily have to get a new d and you know go jump on this and no that don't mean go be a stripper that don't mean go start doing stuff out of your element sometimes when we get our heart breaking we may feel lost we may feel defeated we may feel depleted we may feel like the world is at what has the world come to you feel what i'm saying but you get past these things this hurt will not it's not forever all this hurt all this emotion things this is it's a mind thing you guys all of this shit with this first love and love period it's it's a it's a it's a hard thing it's it's genuine but all in all you guys it's a mind thing it's how you control your emotions you guys you have to control them to where they don't put you in a place where you feel like you're this big you feel what i'm saying you have to control them where you don't feel like your world is crashing and you can't do anything about it because it's just a mind thing you guys i'm telling you i've been through this so many times before i've been through this <laughs> i've been through this guys like and when i tell you when you get over that feeling when you get over that hurt it's like a huge lift has been weight off your shoulders like it's like it's been taken off of your shoulders it's just like damn well life is still popping life is still rolling like let me get to what the fuck i've been to well, let me get back on my grind you guys once you go through life and once you go through shit and you feel like you have that first love you actually realize that that first love really <laughs> he's really not your first love i feel like a first love is really somebody who has been there who has been there through thick and thin who has not only history, but loyalty. You feel what I'm saying? That first love um, title isn't to be taken lightly or isn't to be given lightly. To get over a first love, you guys, I would just necessarily say, spend time with yourself. Sometimes we may think that we're in love because we don't spend time with ourselves enough to love ourselves individually so that we can love someone else sometimes when we don't love ourselves individually we love that other person just as much as we should be loving ourselves and that's why that they become that first love i don't give a fuck what nobody say i am my own first love erica you're my first love because it starts with you you guys you can't love anybody in this world if you don't love yourself so my advice is to love yourself love on you go out you know what i'm saying you're you're not old you know what i'm saying go out have fun have friends have real friends real friends to take you out not necessarily partying when i say go out you don't have to go party you don't have to go do none of that you don't have to be on the scene you could go relax you could go to a movie you can go to dinner you can go do fun stuff i'm a big kid at heart you could go rock climbing you can go skating you can go bowling you know get people around you who you love to fill that hole you know what i'm saying get people around you to fill that hole so that you can feel complete also believe in something you guys but i don't know if you guys are you know are spiritual or you know or um religious or anything 
But if you believe in something bigger than yourself, if you believe in a higher source, get with the higher source. Pray about it because that nigga, that girl, nine times out of ten, I feel like a wise person once said, if it's real, it'll come back. I believe that if it's really real, it would have never left. But, but, <laughs> that could go both ways, you guys. Take that either way. You could take it slightly, you could take it heavily. But I feel like what's meant for you is going to be for you at the end of the day. And you have to know that just like you caught that one fish that was in the sea, you can catch another fish, an even better fish, an even better fish that's going to make you feel even better, that's going to treat you ten times better. And when I tell you that the predicament you were in with that person, everything happens for a reason because when you get a new person, you're going to feel so like what the fuck what the fuck did i see in this person why was i even doing this like you're going to be so upset with yourself that you was doing all of that extra shit once you get where you're trying to get not necessarily with the new boo but just once you get to that mind that level in your mind once you get to that point you're going to be like what did i see in that person because again god don't make no mistake God said, put that down. God said, put that down. You cannot overrule what God say, okay? That's what people in this world need to understand. People cannot overrule what God say. You can keep trying. You can keep trying. You can keep trying. But baby boy, baby girl, it ain't going to work. It's not going to work because you want to know why? Because that's not for you. And God said, put it down. Put it down. Put it down down so if God is telling you to put something down he's basically telling you you need to put that down so you can put something up so that blessings can be uh, blessings can be breaking through blessings can be breaking through blessings can be showering down from each and every way you feel what I'm saying you guys like it's deeper it gets deeper than what meets the eye I'm not saying that you know oh your boo who you been with Y'all not going to last or y'all not going to get back together. I'm just saying in this season of your life, that means that that person is not meant to be in this season of your life. That means that the blessings that God is trying to bestow upon you, that person is not meant to reap your blessings with you. He's not, he or she is not meant. So with that being said, sometimes we may think that, you know, it's the end of the world. And it's not, you guys. It's not. It really helps to get what you're thinking off of your mind, off of your heart. It really helps to talk to people. It really helps to write down these things. You know what I'm saying? It really helps to um, get somebody who you love that guys could sit and map out your future goals, your future plan. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. You're gonna be depressed for like a week or two. But baby, let me tell you something. The more time that you're sitting, the more time that you're like, oh my God, he don't love me no more. Why? Why? What the fuck did I do? Um, am I not skinny enough? Is this ass not fat enough? No, baby. No. That ass is fat. That ass is just right, baby. You slim thick on them hugs. You is, uh, uh, uh. Baby, you is fine. You are fine. You are fine. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Don't let what another nigga got going on in his mind and his mental or whatever he got going on in his life dictate what the fuck you think dictate what the fuck you have going on with self because baby let me tell you something you are amazing you are amazing everybody everybody is amazing you are built you were made in god's like you were built originally originally made for yourself sis you're not ugly you're not uh-uh you are creative you're a boss in the motherfucking making i'm gonna need you to straighten the fuck up Yes, if y'all didn't know, I tell myself this, <laughs> this is what I had to tell myself. This is what I told myself in the mirror. You abuse that bitch. You're a boss. You're that bitch. You're bad as fuck. Ugh, 
to he missing out because let me tell y'all something about how god works let me tell y'all something about how karma works this is why you don't get back at that person who did you wrong this is why you don't this is why you just relax and, and do you do your good deed in this world because they're gonna reap what they sow what they did to you is gonna happen to them two times worse so don't play get back. Don't go fuck his friend. Don't go, no, sis. Don't do that shit. Just <laughs> get your motherfucking hair did. Get cute on these hoes. Like, uh, to, to, did you forget? Like, uh, you got to remind these motherfuckers. Like, did you forget he was trying to get with me? You must have forgot. You must have motherfucking forgot. So let me remind you. Let me remind you that I'm that bitch. Just do you and that person is going to come back regardless, okay? Because when you do right by people, those people don't forget who kept it real. Those people don't forget in their mind and in their heart, like, damn, I had a real one. So don't feel bad for being yourself. Don't feel bad for... for the stuff that you've done or the things that you do, don't feel bad for none of that shit because what goes around comes around and you're going to get yours. These are just the necessary steps that you have to take to becoming a woman or becoming a man. My advice is vice versa. These are the, these are the steps that you must take to become that grown up, that you, that boss bitch. You feel what I'm saying? This is just, these are milestones. You have to, you have to feel that hurt. You have to go through these necessary things so that when you're older, you know how to deal with these things and you won't be like, oh, my world is coming down. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit, okay? Okay. But anyways, y'all, I must get off this because I want this to be short, cute, and simple. Just like my hair. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I want this to be short, quick, and simple. And to my pleasure, it really has. You guys, please, please, please be patient with me. Stay tuned with me. Stay with me because... There is more coming. There is more coming. There is more coming. You guys, please like, comment, and subscribe if you like my YouTube channel. I do apologize for my absence, but I will be back momentarily, you guys. Just give me about four weeks. I have to get this big move out of the way. Life is hitting me right now, and I'm making the best of it. And I want you guys to still be here and you know, understand whatever I'm going through and I need your guys' support. So if you like this video, so guys, if y'all like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please thumbs up my video because I really, really need that. And I would really, 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 really would love that. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to see you guys the next time I come on here. Okay. <laughs>